I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm word back. for a wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever the again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Who cares? Who cares? This class is hella bullshit. <laughs> I'll pretend you didn't say that, and let you try to answer one more. Sorry, there's no time left. I mean, your class is almost over. Oh. Well. <laughs> Thanks for the warning, Max. So, the Daguerrean process made portraiture quite popular. Mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you finish reading the assigned chapters. Clearly, Max doesn't have the time and guys don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the everyday time heroes to change time the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the first artwork. let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson and Alyssa get it together Taylor don't hide I'm still waiting for your entry too and yes Max I see you pretending not to see me bastard Ooh. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room Right, what should I do, what should I do, what should I do? Oh, look at the cell phone. All I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text closer to life without parole. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Who is that? After a blazing trail in the world of 1990s style and fashion photography, Mark Jefferson always knew he wanted to share his vision and inspire others. In the late 2000s, he was a well publicised. Uh, he took a well publicised detour into teaching around the country, inevitably ending up in a permanent position at Blackwell Academy. Mr. Jefferson's classes are art and photography and are some of the most popular in the school's rich history. And his students will certainly go on to inspire others with their own vision. Found you. Where? Where? Oh, yes. Warn David. Yeah, let's do it. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And take Jefferson down fast. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. Oh. The past within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? Yeah, probably. Victoria, it's nice to know how you really feel. Hmm. It doesn't matter what happens to me. I have to say, oh, Rachel, I'm sorry. Oh, there's Kate. Let's come for her. Hi, Kate. Oh, hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I, I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. Thanks. 
You always know the right thing to do. Right, should I go over and talk to Victoria? No. Get full. Yes, get full. Mr. Jefferson? We need to talk. Uh. Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Uh, and why not? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? I will be when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody, to destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. I've seen it. Listen, I... I didn't... You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? You could inspire people. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about now, do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. And that's okay, too. That was kind of random, Max. What did you mean? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. No, it wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh, I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me and Blackwell. The, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be innocent. Or guilty. Ah. Uh, well, and thanks for the photo. And maybe both of us will be jet setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. Oh. Hello? Right, so these these happened again. Oh, so they found the dark room. Francisco bound baby. Yeah. Okay. You're okay, Max. You're safe. On a plane. I hope I did everything right this time. Good work, David. Right, let's have a look. 
It's so weird to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. I can't wait to... We're almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited too. Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time. <laughs> when we were innocent. Hot Dog Man. Please shut off your phone, sir. Oh, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we were innocent. Let's see, ten across, six letters, blue. The beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. All right, the bottom one. Acting on a series of tips from David Madison, police officers designed to choose you on a bizarre underground chamber, allegedly used by teacher Mark Jefferson and student Nathan Prescott to drug, kidnap and photograph young women. Although there were no other signs of physical or sexual assault on the victims, the disturbing revelations have sent shockwaves through the tranquil city of Arcadia Bay. Even Sean Prescott, the most powerful businessman in the area, is under investigation for his role as the owner of the farmhouse where the high-tech dark room studio was located. Continued over leaf. Alright, okay. How the hell am I supposed to figure that out? Oh. Please fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco, with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip, and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. Oh, hilarious. How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guy you wanted in San Francisco but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Oh, Christ. Another nosebleed? Max, you're not just screwing around with time. San Francisco. Yay. Francisco is so cool, and this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I'm, I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. After this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. 
Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm gonna eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Bowser, Max. You did it. Oh, there I am. Somehow. Max Caulfield. I went from the dark room to this gallery. There I am, along with all the other winners. I should say artists instead. Random guy. Oh, Mio and Arm. I heard Mark Jefferson was supposed to be here tonight. Not anymore. That was so shocking. I have one of his monographs, too. Hold on to it. His work is going to be worth serious cash. Are you Max Caulfield? Bravo on your entry. I'm the art critic for Iris N Magazine, and we would love to include you in a piece about future trends in photography. I'll send you the details this week, if that's okay. Congratulations for your piece. Well, if you look at me, then yeah, maybe. Not my style, but the neon is a nice representation. Oh, shit. Pretentious alert. Hmm. Let's see you. What's up here? A little random is staring at me. How do these galleries afford to rent here? Woman. God, I l you must be the everyday hero from Blackwell. My name is Lauren Francis, and I run the media department at Detroit School of Visual Arts. I'd love to talk about you being a residency next spring. Don't say anything to Principal Wells yet. Okay. I wonder if I... Sorry, I don't know your name, but I saw your picture in the gallery brochure, and uh, I just wanted to let you know how cool your entry was. That's nice. That is different. Loving the retro vibe. Me too. Makes me want to go buy an instant camera. Damn, I bet that film costs a oh. fortune. There I am. Hey, and there she is to save the day. Hi. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least for today. A second. Your I'm okay. Uh, jet lag. High altitude. Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. Oh, come on. Please answer. What? Oh no. Chloe, where are you? Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh my god. The tornado was real. Oh, I didn't fix shit. Chloe will die. Arcadia Bay is going to be destroyed. There has to be a way to stop this. For good. Uh, looks like Chloe. But it's not. <laughs> Just looks like someone like her. Nope, nothing happened there. Hey, right, let's get up here. Look at this print. The depth and feel, the colors. Look at the bulk of shape. This was definitely shot with a. 
I do not understand art. I guess everybody is a photographer now. Right. Where's Principal Wells? I need an adult. Oh, there he is. Hi. Nope, nothing. Get to the picture. Rewind time from the picture. This makes me feel so sad. Bad exposure. Back in high school. Bad framing. Bad picture. There we go. Excuse me, I'd love to ask you a few questions about your work. Sorry, but. Oh. You're Max Caulfield, right? Tell me what kind of instant camera you um, use. Can we talk later? Thanks. I literally do not have the time to deal with everybody. Trippy. I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. Thank you. 